Hello, you beautiful people. It's time to watch the last episode of Jujutsu Kaisen season two. Now, who isn't excited? The things that were happening in the past episode and the big battle happening now. There is no way that we are going to see Gojo released in this season. There's no way for that. So what's going to happen now? I have a terribly bad feeling that someone's gonna get killed again because that's what the author does. Hopefully not though. Please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel to help it grow. And if you would like to watch early access, uncut and full length videos, the link is below. You can also join my YouTube channel as a member, get a special badge, shout out, priority on replying to comments and access to emojis. If this doesn't sound tempting, I don't know what does. And now without further ado, let's get on with this episode. Now, who do we have here? Because I have no idea of the identity of this beautiful blonde lady. Oh. どういうのネクストステージ。それは重力からのダメージ。重力の最適。おお、ディア。いや、俺にはどっちなのさ。今どうんウェル、ストレン。全員同時の死んだ時点で捨てたと思ってるんだよ。ゲート君に話しかけた
you know, if I was him on his place. This is just never ending battle with never ends. <gasps> Satoru Gojo. Oh my god. It's starting once again. He has plan with Sukuma. That's absolutely terrible. He teamed up with Sukuna. That's what I think. Or at least their goals align. でも、私を遅いから夕飯デートに。金が安否不明です。政治的空白。それより、トミーにはなぜ説明すればいいんです。いや。だ、there and the normal human cannot see them, mostly. No wonder Oi Oi has sold all her shares. She could technically see it all happening. It was all common. But how? Jesus. Oh my god, it's happening on a public television. It's it's just spreading. It just keeps spreading. I don't think people realize what it's spreading. It's just spreading more and more. And it doesn't stop. Oh my god, I didn't realize how bad it was. How are they gonna stop it? Ten million cursed spirits. There's not even that many sorcerers still alive. What's this girl doing in an abandoned store? Poor little one. So she must have lost her parents and couldn't evacuate on time. Something's out there. She can sense it, but she cannot see it. She can see it? Don't go. Oh my god. She'll die if she goes. <laughs> my teacher. <laughs> oh my god, that voice is horrible. We need a drink. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> you didn't even need to pretend. The girl just wants to help her willingly. willingly. Can't blame the children, they are innocent and naive. Oh god. Is that Utah? We finally see him. Wow, he's become so strong, didn't he? She survived quite a lot. Now, who was that? Oh, so it was Rika who got rid of it. <laughs> wow, they've got it so much stronger. Oh, 
気づいたかな私は君たちの味方というわけではないのただ世界から呪霊をなくしたいだけのしがない美女さ She just seemed quite independent. Wow. Who was she talking to? Harsh? Yuji did that. I don't remember that. When did that happen? Satoru Gojo deemed an accomplice. Oh my god, they always wanted to get rid of Satoru Gojo because he was too powerful. <gasps> Masami Chiyaka sentenced to death? And do you want to execute Yuji Tatori now? After all of that? Yuta will be his executioner. Where is Yuji though? What's happening? Who's that? <laughs> That's Yuji! He survived. He's in the abandoned place, so I'm guessing he's running away. He must be in the center of Shibuya then. His wounds have healed, so some time have have passed since all the fights. Yuji, just why would you make this noise to lure all of the enemies to you? I'm guessing. So I'm guessing he's hiding in Shibuya, where all the cursed spirits are, and actively he's actively also fighting those spirits because he probably wants to repay back all the misdeeds and terrible things that Sukuna has done in his body whilst he was, you know, overtaken by Sukuna. My gosh, the government trying to hide everything that's happening and then announcing that actually they're gonna tell people that cursed spirits exist and the people how are they gonna react? They're not gonna believe. People don't believe things they don't see, do they? They blame all sorts of things. And Gojo sentenced to death. He, all of his accomplices and Yuji Tadori. After all of the things that Yuji went through, honestly, this council, whatever that is, is so fucking harsh, is doing my head in. They don't understand what is going on, really. They're just doing whatever they want. I don't know why there is such a big gap between the previous episode and what we witness now. I'm really curious what has happened in between. Guys, 10 million cursed spirits. I don't know what to think about that. Where is everybody else? Are everybody else after Yuji Itadori? And what about Mikumi's sister with the transfiguration mark? She's gonna awaken with all of this power and if my understanding is correct, she's going to be sent to fight other cursed users and Jutsu sorcerers. This is gonna be like a one big tournament between everybody else. And on top of that, we have Jutsu sorcerers that are trying to tackle the situation in Shibuya. What if other countries see Japan's weakness and try to get involved? Honestly, the situation got so much out of hand. And what, what did she mean that she has to deal with Tengen-sama? I think I'm gonna go read the manga because I am missing a lot. So sorry about you guys. I'm gonna find out what is what. Feel free to drop some spoilers below. Make sure to smash the like button, subscribe for my future reactions, and if you'd like to see my reactions uncut in full opacity and length, early released, the link to my Patreon is down below. Alternatively, you can become a member of my channel and get some amazing perks. Again, listen to the link down below, so make sure to check that out. A big shout out to my Patreon, Isaac, being a Shogun member of my Patreon and always supporting and commenting on my videos. Thank you so much to the members of my YouTube channel as well and anyone else who contributes to this channel growth. Have a fantastic day and thank you so much for watching the video with me. Hope to see you in my next video. Bye!